Hello everyone, I am Michael, in-house tutor at Think Academy. So today we'll be looking at Elaine's School 11 Plus sample paper, and this is the second to last question. As you can see here, a bit of a tricky one, because we've got A, B, and C, these are different values. And again, you may see this and think it needs a lot of uh, trial and improvement. But actually, if we stick to two key facts about this straight away, we know that three ABC must equal BBB, this three digit number here. And we also know that a third of BBB must be ABC. So what does this give us for BBB? Well, there can only actually be three numbers that BBB will be. That is 111, 222, all the way down to 999. But straight away, we can start thinking about the properties of these numbers and start eliminating them that way. What do I mean by that? Well, first of all, we know that a third of BBB must be ABC. But wait a second, ABC itself is a three digit number. And if we divide these two numbers by three, we'll actually end up with a two digit number. So we can eliminate 111 and 222 that way. If we start thinking about numbers like 333, 666, and, oh, sorry, and 999, these consist of repeating numbers, 333, 666, and 999. And if we return to this here, we know A, B, and C have to be different numbers. And if we divide 333 by 3, we end up with 111. And this evidently is repeating. And the same will apply to 666 and 999. So we can eliminate them that way. So we are left with these final numbers. 555, 444, 777 and 888. One of these we can eliminate with another strategy, that is 555. Why is that? Well, if B is 5, C must be 5 as well, because 5 times 3 is 15, leaving 5 in the units column. And again, C and B have to be different. So, for these final three numbers, we can just do a bit of trial and improvement here. So let's think about if B is 4. Got 4 here, 4 there, and 4 in the hundreds. Well, for C, either 3 times C is 4, or 3 times C produces a number where 4 is the unit. And if we think about our multiplication skills, C in this instance must be 8, because 8 times 3 equals 24. So again, we carry the 2. And we already know that B is 4, so we can very simply try and confirm this here. 4 times 3 is 12, add 2 is 14, that checks out, how fantastic. We are left with 1 in the hundreds, carried over, and if you look at this, we know 1 and 3A will have to equal 4 for this to work. And actually it does work, because if A is 1, 1 and 1 and 1 and 1 is 4, and that all works out. So finally, we get A equals 1, B equals 4, and C equals 8 for our answer.